Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, this is going to be a little bit of a different kind of video. I told myself I'd never film this video and yet here I am. Um, I just think this is an interesting story and it's kind of really scary at the same time. If you're new here, I upload every single day and if you want to stick around for more videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. So let's just get into the story. So about maybe two years ago, we moved into an apartment in North Hollywood. It was the second time we moved into an apartment in North Hollywood because there was two times. And this time we were in a brand new building. We were the first people to ever live in that building before. We had a one bedroom apartment, then we upgraded to a two bedroom apartment like a few weeks later. So at this point in time, we're in this two bedroom apartment, top floor penthouse in this modern brand new building. There's like, it may be halfway filled. It's a very small apartment building. And I call my healer. Now, this is the part where you all look at me. Like I'm on drugs. I have a healer. I told myself I'd never talk about this on the internet, but I do have a healer. I'm 26. I have been talking to her since I've been 20, not 20, 18. Um, if you're from my hometown, maybe you're in my close circle, you probably know who I'm talking about. Um, she doesn't do it anymore, but she's been basically predicting my life, like, for a very long time. I have sessions with her, um, in person, where she, like, details all these things. She describes people, she describes what things look like, she can feel energy, she can talk about your career, about your health, about your family's health. I mean, it's pretty crazy stuff. So, yeah. I've had her in my life for a while. That's important. So, I ha hadn't had a session. I have a session about once a year. And so I called her, and I wanted to talk to her about what was going on, because we had just moved, there were all these changes. So I talked to her, and she tells me that where I'm living, there's a spirit. And she never told me that before in my entire life. So like I was like, hmm, that's weird. Um, she continues on and describes this spirit, that this being, it's a male, I wish I have, let me see if I have my notes, one second. I might actually have my exact notes for my session on my phone, and hopefully I do. Well, I'm bummed because I have all these notes from other sessions that I've had. Maybe one day, if y'all are interested, I could tell y'all literally all the notes that she's given me, because I take a ton of notes every time, but for some reason, um, the notes I'm finding aren't the ones from that particular session. She described this presence as a male being from the 70s, that he was very unhappy, very not fulfilled, he didn't accomplish his dreams and goals, so he had some very negative energy, like pessimistic type of stuff, and that he was actually in our apartment building and in our apartment all the time. Um, which was weird because I could kind of feel it. Um, it was just like a very, very weird energy. And for those that aren't in California, vibe and energy are the same thing. I know anytime I say the word energy, people are like, girl, you're a hippie now. I'm like, it's like someone having a bad vibe. Like, you just know when there's, like, something going on that isn't okay. So, I didn't really think anything of it. I just thought, like, okay, let's get some, like, sticks. Let's light them on fire. Whatever it's called, where you... You know, cleanse the space. We ended up not doing it because uh, we just, like, didn't take it seriously at the time. Thought nothing of it. So, fast forward about a month. And my mother-in-law and her son, who's like 11, um, are in town. And he has Asperger's, like, which is a form of autism, or they say it's a form of autism. And I don't know if you heard, but word on the street is that kids that have stuff like that are really sensitive to, like, spiritual stuff. I've heard that for a long time. I never saw proof of it until now. Blew my mind. So, it's bedtime. This is a teeny tiny apartment. I mean, it's modern, it's nice, it's a penthouse, but man, it's in the center of LA, so it's small. So his mom sleeps in the guest room in a twin bed, and the kiddo sleeps in the living room on the couch. And we're in our bedroom. And I didn't know this, by the way, till way later. Like, it happened, and then his mom told me way later. Basically, kiddo could not sleep because he woke up, and next to the couch, there's a water machine. And next to the water machine, oh my god. I'm gonna freak out. I'm gonna chill to think about it. Next to the water machine was a man with a fringe jacket on with corduroy pants. Straight up standing. Oh my god, I'm freaking out. Oh my god, it's just so weird. 
so kiddo over here, like he's describing to his mom what this guy is wearing. And of course, he doesn't know the word corduroy. He doesn't know what corduroy is or a fringe jacket, but he was describing it to his mom and we assembled the pieces that it was a fringe jacket and corduroy because he said like fuzzy, like he pointed to a picture, it was corduroy pants and a fringe jacket. Like I think he had a hat with long curly hair, which is so crazy because I forgot my healer said that the guy also had long curly hair and he said the same thing and that he saw this cre like not creature <laughs> he saw this person standing there so he ran into his mom's room and wouldn't sleep out in the living room and we didn't connect the dots till later when his mom saw me and she was explaining to me that like oh he's just a kid he was afraid of this person in your house but you know she was like rolling her eyes like oh no like he probably didn't see anything but I was like wait a minute did he look like he was straight out of the 70s and like she described to me word for word what he was wearing and literally he saw the person standing next to my water jug. Hopefully my water jug's right here but I know that guy is not with us anymore. He is still at that apartment complex over there because I guess like they also built that complex on top of like a place where people used to be buried. Which is weird like a long time ago. I don't know if it was in the 70s, but like a lot of bad things happen at that exact place. Like they said that they were like, not like battles, like war, but like bad things just happened at that specific place before it turned into like a neighborhood and all that. Um, but yeah, there was a creature hanging out in my old apartment and my mother-in-law's son, I know that seems like it'd be, my, is it my nephew? It's not my brother-in-law. It's very convoluted and complicated, but yeah. He saw the guy after my healer talked about the guy. Mind blown, mind blown. Ugh, I get the chills just thinking about it. So yeah, if you ever have a weird feeling about something, it could be there. And also, what my healer does say, I don't have a guardian angel, like per se, but my husband does. And I also had an old roommate who would like, I'm not even gonna go there about my old roommate because then people are gonna look at me and be like, girl, you are on drugs. Basically, she can also know if you have a guardian angel and where they hang out at around you in the room. But yeah, we had a spirit, a non-happy spirit that we needed to get away with, get away from. Anyway guys, I hope y'all enjoyed that quick little tidbit that ghosts are real and spirits are real and it was very freaky and creepy and oh, it just gives me the heebie-jeebies just thinking about it. So anyway, I promise there won't be any more creepy stories. Well. I don't promise that, but there, there will be some more stories coming soon. And if you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, and I will see y'all next time. Bye!